This is Zach Simeone with the New Zulu Newsroom Update. A state of emergency was declared in Baltimore, Maryland on Monday following the riots that began during Freddie Gray's funeral. Gray died in police custody earlier this month after suffering a spinal injury, the details of which are still sparse. As of Tuesday morning, schools are closed and some of the city's transit system has been shut down. The riots that reignited Monday afternoon followed a weekend of unrest. Saturday saw the largest protest for Freddie Gray yet, and while the first few hours were peaceful, it eventually erupted in violence that left several people injured and arrested and caused heavy damage to police cars. The National Guard was called in amid Monday's rioting, which saw several officers reportedly suffering broken bones and so many cases of arson, the fire department had difficulty keeping up. Baltimore Metro News tweeted that the city's fire chief had his windshield broken while driving to the scene of a fire in the early morning where someone was trapped. Our contributors documented the riots over the past few days, showing some of the damage and confrontations between police and the public. This video, taken late Monday night, shows an unfinished five-story building intended for senior housing in East Baltimore being gutted by flames. The three-alarm blaze drew more than 90 firefighters to the scene. National Guard troops have been stationed outside City Hall Tuesday morning, and reports indicate that the number of troops deployed to Baltimore could increase from 500 to 2,000 today. A curfew has also been put into effect from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. and will last at least through this week. At this point, resolution remains to be seen. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting.